Hey guys, it's Mike. I'm back with another fragrance review. Um, uh, a few weeks ago, I picked this up. It's uh, Roberto Cavalli no, Lenote. And um, I did do a wearing on this um, at work this evening. And um, I'll tell you what. Wow. Out of the Umo line, this is definitely the best one. Um, you know, um, just a lovely scent. Um, turns out this is actually better for cold weather, um, spring and fall, and um, some, you know, somewhat day, but mostly night. And um, man, it's just a beautiful fragrance. And uh, this one was launched in 2018. And, um, you know, Christoph Renaud, he did the whole Umo line. I don't know if he does all of uh, the Roberto Cavalli uh, fragrances or what, but uh, this particular one here is um, the hardest one to find. Right now, um, you might be able to, nah, you can't even find it uh, on FragranceNet right now. Um, try Amazon. I'm not sure. I picked this up um from fragrancebuy.ca so I had to get it in Canada and I also had to pay after shipping and everything it was around 70 maybe even closer to $80 and it was just supply and demand I don't think it's going to cost that much once you find it locally or on, on one of the American sites um, anyway uh, I, I paid it because I really wanted it anyway uh, and, it, and it was worth it too it's a beautiful scent. The um, uh, let's see, uh, let's see. The top notes in this one are bergamot and lavender. The middle notes are cardamom, clary sage, and black pepper. And the base notes are leather, tonka bean, and patchouli. And it's a super long-lasting fragrance. And um, just uh, it is a limited edition, so that might be why it's so expensive when you do find it. Um, I do have the. Um, the desire, um, what, what's it called? Something desire, and um, I also have the silver essence and the regular Umo uh, deep desire. I have that one too. So I have all four of the Umos, Womo, whatever. Um, this one here, um, let's see. As far as long lasting and silage, um, it. Um, it, it is long lasting and um, it is moderate silage, but um, you know, it gets a lot of good reviews. And um, man, it's such a beautiful scent. I'm telling you, if you can get your hands on this one, I suggest you grab it. But that bergamot, it's more like a bitter citrus. And then, you know, you got that lavender real prominent right off the rat, right off the rip. It's, it's just really nice. The blue bottle, that deep blue, you hold it up to the light and you can see right through it. It's just gorgeous and uh, it just really um, gives you an idea of what it um, smells like almost with that lavender. But it, it's just a gorgeous scent. It sticks with you all day. A lot of compliments with this one. And um, oh, it's such a classy fragrance, I'm telling you guys. You, you really should try to pick that one up if you can find it. I don't know what you'd pay for it on Amazon, but uh, it does get a lot of good reviews. Um, and let's see, a lot of people say they they um, blind bought it. Um, this guy here says that he says it's better than C.H. Prevé, uh, Caroline uh, uh, Herrera. Uh, nothing special about it. Can't imagine anyone knows you're wearing this. Boring, boring, boring. Talking about Carolina Herrera. So he says this is way better than that. And uh, let's see. It says here that it's sweeter than CH Men Preve um, with much less leather and no booze. I would say it's a little more youthful and has a little bit better performance. You know, I don't I don't really see the similarities at all. This one has its own thing going on, it's not a clone of anything. It's definitely a very good fragrance. Stands alone. So um, I don't really know what else to say about it. It, it is good. It is long lasting. It gets a, a thumbs up from me. Um, it's a great blind buy if you can get your hands on it. The entire Wumo line uh, from regular Wumo. 
uh, Silver Essence, Deep Desire, and Linote. This one, um, I would say, you know, it's by far the best, but I'm telling you, it's just as good as all of them. The, the regular Wumo, I love it. And Deep Desire is great for the winter time. Um, and uh, Silver Essence, I haven't even worn that one yet. Uh, it's more of a spring and summer fragrance, so I'll get around to it eventually. But for now, um, this is the one. I'm going to give it a few wears while it's cold, and uh, it just really shines in the, the, the fall, winter time. Right now is a great time for this fragrance. It's, um, it's just gorgeous fragrance. A high compliment factor. Um, last long, great date night fragrance. Uh, great out of the shower fragrance. Great, just even if you're not going to do anything, you just want to smell good. It's something uh, that you just, you know, you're not going to be able to get enough of it. You're just going to want to constantly smell this. And um, it's it's not a, a monster either. You could really go with uh, five or six sprays and maybe even seven or eight and just love it. You're not even going to have a problem out of it. You know, I, there are a few people talking about it similar to C.H. Prevé, but, um, you know, I don't think so. I don't, I don't see it. Um, it, it is sexy and warm and, you know, um, it, it's just a, a really good fragrance. Um, so, you know, if you can get your hands on this one, this is a great buy. It'd be a great Christmas gift for any man. Um, I can't imagine there's anybody out there that wouldn't like the way this one smells. It's, it's a very sophisticated, um, oh man, such a classy fragrance. It's definitely one that you're going to want to add to your collection if you can get your hands on it. Again, it's limited edition. If you're going to pull the trigger on this, I do it before the price goes through the roof because, you know, uh, once it gets hard to get, people are going to go crazy and uh, then, you know, it's going to end up on eBay and people are going to be asking two or three hundred bucks for it. I don't feel like it's worth that. You know, but uh, if you can get this around 50 bucks, it, it's a great buy. I, I, I paid 55 for the Deep Desire, and I know that was a little bit much. But again, I don't know what it is about these fragrances. They're getting harder and harder to get. Silver Essence is easier to get, and the regular Wumo, you can still get it. But um, it seems like they are getting a little bit harder to grab onto. So you might want to, you know, if you're going to look into this line, might want to, you know, get them while you can uh, because this one here, just um, very, very tough to find this one right here. So uh, good luck with your purchases, guys.